um, it was good to see. I mean, the confidence is high right now. We just need to make sure we keep our heads screwed on straight and focus on each week one at a time. You said something along the lines after the game. Like, this is a different team. You guys saw it. You felt it. You kind of hold that. Just, what was, how nice was to see that, to know that you guys have turned that page and things are truly different? Yeah, I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, we, we executed on all cylinders. Um, defense, I mean, just like last year, played their butts off. Um, and offense finally got it going. Uh, we had a lot to work on coming out of last year and bringing Sam in and bringing Jeff in and having guys to come in and uh, fulfill those shoes and being able to make plays. Um, number 10 did a great job and I mean, you see the difference now. What's going to be like really with that? I mean, um, we're, we're, we're here to play, you know. Um, we're not going to be here to take lightly. Um, teams, that team probably came in here thinking we were going to be terrible. Um, and people can't think that anymore because we have a team with us. We have a, a tight team, um, guys that like each other and guys that want to play football for Coach Gillingham and for each other. What would you like to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the excitement level is playing an SEC team on your home field Saturday? Yeah, I, th I think the biggest thing is is playing another team. Um, we get the opportunity to play another team, um, no matter who it is. We played the Mountain West team last year, uh, last week, like like we were playing an SEC team. So um, we're ready to battle against whoever we, we have, whoever we play and. Um, we're hoping that you know whoever steps in front of us, we can defeat and take take on take on. Was well, it great, uh, Pete's carry? Offensive. Oh, all right. We had talked about that. I'm gonna no comment on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, student section here. It's gonna be a rowdy crowd. That's not gonna be like yeah. I mean, set a record probably. Almost setting a record last week, and then potentially doing it this week. That'd be awesome. You know, um, the more we win, the more people are gonna show up, and um, with people with all the students coming and 14,000 fans come out, um, just them alone. You know, brings brings a loud brings a loud crowd to the roar. I mean, loud roar to the crowd. So, I mean, I'm excited to hopefully break it. And if we do, then congrats to them. Um, we still got more games to play, so let's keep it going. Seems the the rest of the guys in that running back room really kind of contributed. Kaisen and DeCarlos getting in the end zone as well. Jason even doing some good things. Well, how did you see the kind of the, your evaluation of the rest of the, the running backs? I mean, I told you in spring ball. You know, I told everyone in spring ball that we have five guys in that backfield that can play football, um, and. Even now with Jason Brown in there, that, that kid can play. Um, he's not scared of nobody. He's he's athletic. He can play football. Like he's a good ball player. Um, just developing and getting those guys out there is just the biggest part. And I mean, they all played great. You know, Sip Sip did an excellent job coming in. De Carlos, great job. I mean, I, you can't really downplay any of them. They all ha they all touched the ball five plus times and they all did something with the ball. So I'm I'm super happy for those guys. And, Super excited to see what they're going to do in the future. You made a comment after the game that, uh, you know, it was kind of nice, you know, getting out in the third quarter on a positive note and just having guys that can, you know, maybe help you carry that load. What kind of impact do you expect to have that as kind of the season and the grind wears on? Yeah, it's huge because, you know, take, taking the ball 30 times a game and taking 300 snaps a game or 300 snaps, you know, a week in practice and then going out in the game and taking 100 snaps, I mean, it's hard on your body. So having those guys not only in the game but in practice is huge because we're all rotating. Everybody knows what's going on. Everybody's getting the, the hang of things. And I mean, it's huge having those guys because they're here for me and I'm here for them. What do you think uh, that uh, win on Saturday night will kind of said maybe to people that maybe were a little skeptical about the Sun Devil team? Um, I mean, it's, we're 1 0, you know. Um, I look at it as 0 0. That was a Mountain West team. We're a Big 12 team. We're supposed to beat that team. That's not, that's not a win that we should be excited about. But even though we got the win, you know, we still have another week to play. Now it's an SEC opponent, so we go from Mountain West to SEC. So we'll see how that plays out. What jumps out to you in your early preparation about this Mississippi State defense? Um, they're big. They're physical. Um, we just got to work hard. Uh, we got to play our brand of football. I'm not worried about anybody else who we play against. If our offense worries about our offense and defense worries about ourselves and we do our jobs right, there's not many people that can beat us. What are going to be the, the keys to, you know, keeping up that momentum and the offensive success that you guys had on Saturday? I mean, just working every day. I mean, if you're constantly working and getting people to see you and you have your teammates on your backside working just as hard as you are, um, I mean, it comes, it comes along. Thank you.